each series. The first one, uh, Roy Mustang was a little bit funnier. It's, you know, he said stupid things like, I love dogs! And, you know, he was kind of zany every once in a while. And the second one, he's not so funny. He, he kind of serious all the time. He's killing people and burning things a lot more. Um, which is cool. Uh, but the, um, yeah, it's very good. Uh, the series goes on longer, so I kind of like, I'm kind of digging on the second one, actually. I have fond memories of the first one, but the second one is turning out pretty, pretty sweet. How many, uh, is anybody, how many episodes are out here so far in, in Australia? First, 16? 13? Something teen? 18. Blank teen? Okay, okay cool. No, 18. 18. No. I think you're still around. She's still around, right? <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> okay, I've got two questions. First one is, what's your least favorite character to play? And what got you into voice acting in the first place? Um, well, I shouldn't even say it. But does anybody know the show, um, um, Basilisk? Yeah, my character, Oboro, in that show, well, I love her. She was such a pansy. She was so like, and all she did the whole time was go, oh, can I skip? Oh. And she like ran around and she had these little baby steps, and anytime she ran, I had to run like, <laughs> so that would be, I like being tough, you know, or at least like dreamy. Oh, can I skip? Oh, no. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, our superstars are in the house. We are? <laughs> I didn't even... And you know who I'm talking about there, right? Yeah, you're talking about us! Here's the carpenter, Oh, right. Uh, the character I like the least. You know, so the, the Glass Fleet show wasn't necessarily the character I liked the least. It was just the strangest. Because while he looked like he was in an 80s hair band, like out of Poison or something, you know, like Guns N' Roses, he had this harmonica. And when he had a really serious moment, he would whip out his harmonica, blow a couple notes, and then the wind would blow through his hair. And he had this one line that I just couldn't get over, which was, Feel my wind. <laughs> And that's one of those moments when you're recording a show and the script is right there and you see the line and you look at the director and go, come on, feel my wind. Am I like farting in his, I mean, what is, what is the, the feeling of the windage? Which was only beaten by a point later in the show when Laura's character had to say, I can feel it. I can feel your wind. <laughs> He's so dreamy. What got me into voice acting? I was, uh, I was doing this play in a local theater company, and one of the guys that was in the play, his name was Kent Williams, and he played Dr. Giroux on Dragon Ball Z. I was still in college at the time, I was pretty young. And um, so he asked if I would come in and audition because they had the parts of Kid Trunks coming up and Videl and Go Ten and all those characters. And so I went in and I auditioned and I ended up getting the part of Kid Dende originally. Total pansy, there's another pansy character for you. Um